Hi, welcome back to Good Germs Off-Road Adventures. As you can see, we are back in the desert. And we're camping. Let's go. Okay, we'll start on the outside. You can see we've got a storage compartment right there. Nearly goes all the way through. Goes to the back side of the generator. You can see we have cap lights, which, you know, I'm not really sure why they've started putting these things on, but, uh, you know, they do light up at night. We have installed extra batteries. So we actually have four 12 volt batteries on this unit. Opted for the just, uh, the regular group 24 batteries um nothing uh fancy they're a lot cheaper than doing six volts or lithiums and though they work seem to work pretty good we have our generator behind here this is the onan cummins 5500 um i think i left this locked yep it's still locked that's all right on the side you can see we have a pretty big slide and we'll when we get to the inside we'll have a look but that thing operates you have the Pantry roughly there. You have a uh, stove, oven there, water heater, kitchen. Got a couch in here. Keep walking around. You can see we have a ladder. We have a fuel station. Our 50 amp hookup, of course. And yes, this rig is 50 amps. We do have two air conditioners on this unit. You have lights on both sides here. So you can see if you want to put gas in your you know, your four-wheeler, your side-by-side, your, -side, your Jeep, whatever you're doing. Coming around the back, we do have the patio rear gate. We also have loading lights at the top. And if you look real closely, you can see that we have an antenna. We do have the Furion backup camera installed. And let's get around all of the quads here. You may have seen in a previous video. Yeah, I'm a Polaris fanboy. One Polaris, two Polaris, three Polaris, four, sure. You see we still have lights on on this side. We did have the more ride steps put in on the main entrance here. We'll back up. We do have the big 20-foot awning. We've installed a side-mounted grill. And... We brought in a, just got a brand new Blackstone. We're trying that out. And we actually put in a quick disconnect for the propane. Very easy to do. Hooks down there. No, nope, you really can't see it from this angle. That's fine. And then back around to the front. Another nice feature these strikers come with is you get power stab jacks, both front and rear. Not a big selling feature for me, but I'll be honest, I am glad to have them. All right, let's go have a look inside. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to fall right down the stairs. First feature that we like is one that we added, though. It's on the screen door, the little pull bar, but it's not just a pull bar. Watch. It's also part of the latch. It's magical. These are made by Lipert. All right, standing at the back, you can see we have the beds, but first, I just want to turn this way. You can see we have a nice open plan with this rig. The slide out starts here, goes all the way through the kitchen. Couch, bed, kitchen sink, all of that. On the slide out gives you a ton of room. At the very back of the trailer, you can see we have the Happy Jack beds. We've got the bed at the top, couches at the bottom. Of course, they make a bed. You can run them up. If you have something really tall, they actually can hang from the sides to give you more headroom for taller rigs. Um, whatever you're putting in here, plenty of room. They come with these nice metal tables. This is one here. And that just seems to be the perfect spot for the second one. But you can also take them out on the patio. 
I also get these nice comfy fake leather chairs, but they do wipe off clean real nice. The dog hair comes right off because, you know, you do have dog hair if you have dogs. But they recline, they rock, and you can nap in these for a long time. They are comfy. You get your, your stereo, rear air conditioning control, and on that wall you actually have a front air conditioning control. But the most impressive control is right there because it operates the ceiling fan. Yep. You get a ceiling fan in this unit, and you don't ever see that in travel trailers. You see them in the fifth wheels, you see them in the motorhomes, but you don't see them in the travel trailers. This is quite a nice feature that we really enjoy in this rig. You can also see the front air conditioner there. We have a rear air conditioner that sits right up above this bed, a couple of extra vents, and these two air conditioners, whether they're running on generator or off your 50 amp um, shore power, they will cool this thing off really nice. All sorts of nice accent lighting, as you can see, along with the lighting around the ceiling fan. Uh, let's move on. Let's see. We have the charging controller for our solar that we've added. We added a 400 watt system uh, to this with the four batteries that we saw on the tongue. Plenty of power. We actually run the inverters. You can see we have, you know, some Halloween decorations plugged in. It is Halloween time and, you know. It is actually Halloween weekend, so maybe we'll get some trick-or-treaters in the desert. Nice big refrigerator that is the, the gas electric. We prefer that because we're out here. We don't want to worry about the batteries. We prefer just run it off the propane. It uh, works better. You don't have to worry about it. Subwoofer for your stereo, another little cabinet. Good size television, and it actually is on a bracket that is clipped to the wall, but you can pull it off. And uh, it is a smart TV, so you can, if you have a hotspot or Wi-Fi, you can do any of your streaming, you know, watch your services there. Um, right up above it, hard to see. Maybe I can get in there. This coach has on the roof, I don't remember what it's called, but it's for Wi-Fi. You can put a Wi-Fi booster in here. Um, we'll think about doing that, perhaps. But let's get into the kitchen. You've got, you know, there's some power outlets. There's plenty of power outlets in this coach. You even have them up above the bed for people that want to charge their phones. Nice peninsula kitchen. Nice countertop. Looks fancy. It's a bit plasticky, but it's perfect for a toy hauler. Big farm sink. We added, you know, my wife added this. This is a perfect little drainer. But a nice big farm sink. 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 Uh, good faucet with a sprayer. Yep. And underneath the sink is the water heater. You actually get a 10-gallon water heater, which is really nice. Keurig machine, that did not come with it. We added that. Nice stove, oven. This is kind of nice because when you turn something on, it turns red. Let you know something's on. Microwave, hood range. You have your pantry, really good-sized pantry. You can see all the cabinets right on down over the, you know, the couch area. More cabinets under the stove, under the sink, some drawers there. You can see all the nice cabinets. Good styling in this unit as well. But uh, let's take a step back. You can see the... Ow! I just walked right into the bed backwards. You can see nice open plan, but uh, we have two doors, you see. Bathroom, bedroom. The bathroom is a Jack and Jill, so you go through it. Another door into the bedroom. Let's go check out the bathroom first. Mm -hmm. Pretty typical bathroom. Toy haulers do not have big bathrooms, but this one is a pretty good size. You can back up to the door here and you can see you've got the toilet. It is plastic, but it's a good toilet. All the cabinets behind it for all your towels and washcloths and anything else you need to stick in there. Perfect space for a little trash can. Nice, decent sized sink. The Nice looking faucet. Storage under the sink. The water pump is actually down in there as well. And a little bit more storage here. Of course, you have a medicine cabinet. You do have some nice controls here for your vent, bathroom vent. This you have up and down. You can actually open it. Let's see. Watch. Open. You can't really tell it's open. Fan. Sure. And close. And that's nice because I'm tall, I'm 6'4", and even I can't reach this. So having those on wall switches, awesome. 
shower, you know, pretty typical RV little shower, not a tub, just a shower. We did add the shelf to be able to put our soaps and things because that is angled. That is not for soaps. They fall right off. Mm -hmm. And then I mentioned before, a door goes to the bedroom. So we'll just crack that open. See, straight to the bedroom. But before we go into the bedroom, we're going to turn around and go the other way. Turn this light off. Don't need it. And uh, from the bathroom, you can see nice open plan. You can see right out the back. We still have the ramp open. Um, just didn't put up the extra rail, but get some nice airflow in here. All right. Come around through the kitchen. Yep. And in the bedroom, before we say anything, king size bed. Got to have a king size bed. And that was actually one of the big selling points for us on this unit. Not only is a king size bed, but it will actually slide from side to side, all the way to this wall or all the way to the far wall, however you need it to move around, put storage in here while you're traveling. Pretty good, pretty good uh, design and idea. Down here at the bottom, of course, we have our inverter control, which is currently on so we can have our Halloween decoration on. We have power outlet. We also have another one of these power outlets on the other side of the bed. You've got your RV style closet on each side. Not sure the purpose of the mirror because you have to be pretty well against the wall with your head to see yourself, but that's okay. Cabinets along the top and then you have a nice shelf. You also have lights that have USB ports on them and they work to charge your phone whether they're on or off. So that is a great feature. And then your generator start stop controls. I don't really know why in the travel trailer units, they always put these above the bed and fifth wheels. You find them on the control panel, but they always put them above the bed in travel trailers. I really don't know why generator is down here, but whatever. You have your light switch over here, operates the light there. You have more air conditioning vents, another vent fan. This one, however, you do have to manually open it and push the button to make it turn on. But you can stand on the bed and do this one. You also have your TV mounting location and power and cable hookups. All right, let's head back out. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we have plenty of room for both of the quads, ATVs, four wheelers, whatever you call them along with the ice chests, enough room to walk around, any other camping supplies we need, plenty of room. Well, thanks for taking the tour with us, but until next time, we'll see you later. Stick around.